we'd like to welcome you all here today to celebrate the union of Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Hall. We made it. Everyone hopes to meet that one person in life that, that completes the puzzle. I always wanted sisters, and my mom gave me a brother. And tonight, when Matthew married Taylor, gave me my third sister, Taylor. Little did we know, their year of being engaged was far from traditional. The most important love, the last love, and the forever love. We made the most of this year. Taylor and Maddie's engagement was definitely the best part of 2020. Seeking recognition and monetary treasure, unaware that happiness is just a state of mind, within the reach of everyone who takes time to be kind. For in making others happy, you will be happy too. For the happiness you give always returns to shine on you. Let us all raise our glasses to Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Hall. If I've ever done anything right in my life, it is giving my heart to you. I promise to hold your hand and let you lead in our walk with God. My whole life has always been full of uncertainties, but the one thing that I've never been uncertain of is the love I have for you. Today I stand before you, our family, and our friends in God making the easiest decision I've ever had to make in my life. You give your all to me, so I'm going to do my best to keep these promises to you. You saved me from myself in so many ways. You've given me a full life. I can't promise that we won't go through hard times, but I promise to hold your hand through it all. I promise to try to help you work on your weaknesses and allow you to fix mine. I promise to never quit. I vow to treat you with respect always. I promise to always protect you. I promise to never go to bed mad. I promise to always try to make you laugh and smile except for now because I'm crying. <laughs> I promise to let you game with your Game Boys. I'm truly the luckiest guy in the world and I couldn't imagine growing old with anybody but you. I promise to pray for you, for us, and for our future family. I promise to tend to you when you are not well. I promise to be the very best husband and the best father in the future. You have loved me when I cannot love myself. You've encouraged me when I cannot encourage myself. And you've finished the chores when I cannot finish the chores. <laughs> I promise to appreciate you for all that you do, even the small things. Most importantly, I promise to never stop loving you. You're every one of my dreams come true. <laughs> I promise to be your best friend always, your best secret keeper, and your greatest cheerleader. Matthew's family, I ask you, will you take this woman, Taylor, into your family and into your hearts? We will. Taylor's family, I ask you, will you take this man, Matthew, into your family and into your hearts? God in heaven above, please protect the ones that we love. Please take a moment, parents, to pray over your children. After our first date, I remember bragging to everyone about how nobody had ever treated me as well as you had. It is unbelievable that I got the chance to promise myself to the person I consider my greatest friend. 
you made me feel amazing by opening every door. You held my hand and you genuinely tried to get to know me. I will never understand how a regular guy like me convinced such a beautiful, intelligent, and strong woman to even go on one date with me. There's so many things that I love about you. You're so kind-hearted to everyone that you meet. You're a friend to all. I seriously don't know anybody who doesn't love you. I will remember how fast I fell in love with you. I prayed after that date I was gonna be with you for life. You're my greatest protector and you're my best friend. Matthew, do you take Taylor as your wife and your companion? Do you promise to share her laughter during the good times and wipe her tears during, this, during the bad from this day forward? I do. Taylor, do you take Matthew as your husband and companion? Do you promise to share his laughter during the good times and wipe his tears during the bad I do. from this day forward? I do. <laughs> she definitely does. <laughs> Matthew, do you promise to, to stop gaming the third time she asks you? Do you promise to clean up after Ray and Penny without complaining? Sometimes I do. <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I do. Taylor, do you promise to stop penny shopping when he needs you? Home? Do you promise uh, to cuddle with Matthew more than you cuddle with Penny? And do you accept his uh, rose? I do. Okay, then we can proceed. Taylor and Matthew, these rings now contain their precious metal, but that which is more precious and more priceless, the love and support of your family and friends. The wedding ring is a symbol of an ending power and love between two beings. Its circular shape has no beginning and no end, representing a boundless spiritual connection. The ring should be worn proudly as a symbol of the commitment between the two of you, you and your spouse. Even when you find yourselves apart, your rings will provide a powerful reminder of the love you share. With this ring, I, Matthew. With this ring, I, Matthew. Offer my love to you, Taylor. Offer my love to you, Taylor. For all time. For all time giving you all that I am and all that I will be. Giving you all that I am and all that I will be. Please accept it as a symbol of my love and devotion. Please accept it as a symbol of my love and devotion. And may it always be a reminder of my vows to you. And may it always be a reminder of my vows to you. With this ring, I, Taylor. With this ring, I, Taylor. Offer my love to you, Matthew. Offer my love to you, Matthew. For all time. For all time. Giving you all that I am and all that I will be. Giving you all that I am and all that I will be. Please accept it as a symbol of my love and devotion. Please accept it as a symbol of my love and devotion. And may it always be a reminder of my vows to you. And may it always be a reminder of my vows to you. May they serve as a subtle, sweet, mm. and simple reminder for the love that you share with each other and the vows that you have made tonight. Yeah. Family and friends, by the approval of Penny and Ray, Woo. And the power vested in me for $30 by the Universal Life Church <laughs> and the state of Georgia. I now formally pronounce Matthew and Taylor to be husband and wife. Matthew, please kiss your bride. <laughs> it's our first kiss. <laughs> Taylor gets a crying from her. It's definitely from her mother and not me. Taylor, from day one, when you were born, all while you're growing up, today and tomorrow, you have been and always will be my superstar. And I love you, kid. <laughs> Matthew, we are all so wonderfully proud to have you as our son. I admire the love and affection you've shown my daughter. Uh, but night's night tonight, uh, day's life today, it's hard not to think of a greater divine intervention until we look at you guys. I'm so glad that Maddie was one of your best decisions that nobody had to help you make. I couldn't be happy for you too. I'm so happy for you too. 
It truly is an honor to stand beside you today. I look at you like a little brother. I love you to death. I tell people that Taylor and I grew up together because, well, we didn't really have a choice. Our moms, being good friends in high school, basically paved the way for our friendship to blossom into what it is today. I'm not sure how I can improve Matt, but I, I know how he improved me. Cheers to the, to the most important people here. So, if everybody could raise their glass, Here's to Forever Love. Here's to the two newlyweds. Here's to my third sister, Taylor. Love, love you. Cheers to you both. I can't wait to see what happens with you guys. Um, wherever you go, Forty Hell will be here for you. All these people will be here for you. We love to death. So happy for you, too. I wish you all the love, the happiness, and endless penny and race snuggles for the rest of your lives. <laughs>